The greatest learning from me is uh, the experience I had uh, with the structured dialogue, with the methodology that we used in all these processes, which allows people to speak one after the other in a very civilized way. Everything we say is being registered, so you feel that your idea is understood by the others and is respected by the others. Everyone is equal in the dialogue, but more importantly is that by doing that, the people in the room develop what we call a common language. And now where is the big trick? The big trick is that if you have two people with two opposite opinions and you need to choose one, let's say by voting, you might get a winner, but the minority will still be there with an opposite opinion. So this method of choosing among alternatives by popular voting doesn't solve any problem. Now if you have many people who have different opinions, and let's say you find the middle opinion, you find the common denominator, that's also a very bad solution because nobody's happy. So it's not about whose idea is the most important, but it's about finding influences between ideas. Which idea can take me easier to another idea? So by putting them in order, you develop a roadmap. And we come to a point where the younger generation is not participating in what's happening in the world, because the, their voice is not heard and because they don't feel that they have the power to participate. So unless we redesign the system in a way that is participatory and structured so that everybody can influence the decision using collective wisdom and not popular voting, then we will have a better world.